This video is going to be showing you how to change your thermostats on a CAT C15 engine. So we have a single turbo C15 engine here and there's your thermostat housing. You're going to have to remove that intake tube and whatever accessory drives were in the way. So I've gone ahead and removed the intake tube. You have that lower hose, you have your upper radiator hose that needs removed. Uh, there's usually a shunt line going to it as well. And you can see there's seven mount bolts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, there's only three you need to be concerned about. It's these three in the center here. Those are what actually hold it to the cylinder head. And then the other four keep the two pieces together. So you're going to want to disconnect all your wiring harness going to it. There's usually one or two sensors up top, but you might not see it. There's a the cat temp sensor is actually on the bottom of the housing here. Don't know if you can really see it clearly. Let me put it back here. This is the front of the engine up by the V belts or if you have a serpentine belts in the same place. And you can see the sensor right there. So remove those three bolts and it'll come off like that. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to drain the coolant before you remove this. And also after you remove it, it's still gonna have a little coolant in it. So then remove those other four bolts and it'll separate. Now here's a couple of the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a large socket, like a two inch socket, a heel bar, a small hammer, some sort of buffing wheel, and a scraper of some sort. That tool on the far right is a pneumatic scraper I'm going to show you that I'm using. You can also use a hand scraper if you wish. So here we have the two halves separated. You can see the gasket material is still stuck to them. You have your two thermostats. Uh, all C15s run two thermostats. You can see the wear marks on them. So we're going to remove those and throw them away. And there's a little slip seal here on the bottom that I'm going to be showing you how to remove. And that's what you're going to need that heel bar and that two inch socket for. But first I'm going to show you uh, how this pneumatic scraper works. Now there's a couple of different ways to remove this gasket material. There's the old manual scrapers. You can buff it off, although I don't prefer to buff it off until the very end because if you buff it all off, that dust gets all over the place. So this is an astro pneumatic little scraper I've been using for a couple years now and I really like it. And uh, here's why. It removes a uh, large gasket material pretty well. And uh, this, these are cast aluminum blocks and it uh, doesn't dig in really that hard. You'd, have to, you'd almost have to try and damage the, uh, whatever material you're working with. Seems to, uh, seems to remove most of that big gasket material fairly well. Now of course, if you don't want to buy this, you can use your normal hand scraper, gasket scraper. And then at the end, you're going to want to buff off whatever gasket materials left now the next step is getting those lip seals out so let me put this in the vise so it's in the vise now you can see the little brass colored lip seals on there each thermostat has one and you're going to want to replace these whenever you do the thermostats so you're going to just put the heel bar under it and pop them out they should pop out fairly easily now to install it you're going to use that large you can use a large socket, that's probably what works best. Any metal circle item will work. Um, basically all you do is you put the, uh, the new lip seal on there with the seal side facing up and then you drive it in. It's, it's not rocket science. Now, there's still gasket material left on the cylinder head that you're also going to have to remove, so don't forget to remove that. And after your pieces are clean, they should look like this. You don't want any gasket material left. You don't want any grooves or distortions or high spots in either of the ceiling surfaces. And that also includes the backside where the three bolt holes go through. So here is with the gasket mounted. You want to put your thermostats in, then put your gaskets in. It, because the thermostats are wider than the gasket. If you put the gasket on, then the thermostats, you could cut your gaskets. Now, I don't recommend putting silicone on these gaskets. Um, I really don't recommend putting on hardly anything. Um, here's the rear side gasket. 
You also don't need to use silicone on this gasket because two of the bolt holes have triangles on them and they will be held on by the bolts. So here we have our remounted thermostats and that's pretty much all there is to remounting and installing thermostats.